Here's everything I ate on my first day in New York City. So at 11 p.m. I got a Dalgona coffee boba to start the night. Then I drunkenly made my way over to Joe's to have my first slice of New York City pizza. Totally lived up to the hype. The drunken crowd here is hilarious and the vibes don't go in sober. The next day I got even more pizza, including a pepperoni grandma slice. Y'all know I'm here to crush, man. Check out that New York flop. Then I went to peep out Washington Square Park and got some pastries. Monkey bread croissant and a brioche donut. Bing bong. For second lunch, I got some surprisingly epic falafel. It was from a chain called Taim, but it blew this six pack away. Here's everything I ate in NYC day two. Thick sandwiches, potato latkes. Doug and I got some lox bagels from Russ and Daughters while Janelle was on a girl date. So I took advantage and took her boyfriend on a mandate to get some amazing ramen. I got Ishida-san's signature truffle shoyu and probably the most beautiful bowl of ramen I've ever seen. For dinner, I got some pizza pie at Scar's, which was a bucket list restaurant of mine. Got the famous jalapeno hot honey and come on, man, how can you go wrong with that combo? And then we met back up with Janelle for some fancy ass tea. Hello. I don't know if my fans are gonna know you. <laughs> <laughs> Tired, uh, baby. <laughs> For day three in New York, Beryl took us on a Queen's food tour, so we started off with some momos, which I've never had before. They're these thick Nepalese dumplings, and I was pretty blown away. Those were fucking awesome. Then we found a food cart that was selling Pani Puri, another first for me, and another mind blower. Fried lentil donuts called Vada, Mexican shrimp ceviche from a window that we just ate on a bench, a tonkatsu onigirazu, I think I said that right. I think like a sushi sandwich, except the rice isn't seasoned with vinegar. A whole array of arepas, cheese, pork belly, cheese, steak, and a bunch of awesome sauces. And cheese. Bibinka, a rice and coconut cake with salty cheese on top, and a ginger latte. Then the famous Cat's Deli. A hundred percent worth the hype. Make sure to get the pickles too. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Think you're cool? Dis all the food I ate in New York, day four. What I recorded anyways. Kicked it off with the classic lox bagel with some chive cream cheese. Then took a break from bagels with a bacon, egg, and cheese with salt and pepper and ketchup and mayo. That's how you do it, right? Went back to being a tourist after that and got another lox bagel and a famous rainbow bagel with birthday cake cream cheese. Switched it up to pizza and ironically had the best pizza in New York. Grandma slice, of course. The white slice with sesame seeds and caramelized onions and a slice of roni. Walked down the street for some more amazing pizza. These were two of my favorite spots by the way. Barada, pepperoni, and hot honey which is a total cheat code. Everything I ate in NYC day five. My guy Bruno and I found this cute window shop and got a buckwheat latte before walking over to Russ and Daughters. Another lox bagel for me, but this time with pastrami cured salmon. 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 It was Bruno's first time in NY, so I had to show him Cat's Deli. Pastrami Reuben and salty pickles. Took a tea break from food before eating again. A super relaxing and homey Japanese style meal that reminded me a lot of my mom. Capped it off at the famous John's of Bleecker Street, the pizza joint most hyped up by y'all. Damn, dude, look at this handsome man. Sheesh. Day six of getting super fat in New York. Mamma mia. Is that a good angle? Ice vanilla latte from Stumptown. Then I found this cute Thai food cart, so I had to get some drunken noodles. And they gave me a free Thai iced tea just for tipping. They were actually really nice. Aces pizza and some Martinelli's. Nothing like going to New York to get some Detroit style za. A habanero fried chicken sandwich, not spicy at all. I wish we saw more habanero brine chicken around. Such a good flavor. And finally, I found the famous halal guys. So I got that street meat with the white sauce. For like eight bones, this is probably the best deal in town. Nice. Good job, dude. Yeah, bro. Everything I ate in New York, day seven. I basically live here now. Went to the famous Essa Bagel. This lox had a lot of filling in it, not the biggest fan of that. The bagel was good though. Hazelnut latte from Gregory's. And you know I had to stop at Palm Frites for a cone of fries with the garlic aioli. Thank God for those glory hole holders. Passed by a Korean corn dog place and said, ah, fuck it, why not? Got the spicy boy and the classic potato one. Then a big bucket list one for me, Prince Street Pizza. Shout out Will Smith. Their famous corner pepperoni slice is the real deal, man. So good. Try to go here during the day, otherwise the college kid line at night gets insane. Everything I ate in NYC day eight, the no bagel edition. I wanted to try Mamoon's famous falafel, and overall, I like the vibe inside, but the food, including the shawarma, was just okay. Dog watching is dope, though. Another place everyone told me to go was Los Tacos number one. The Alpe store was really good, and the tortillas were bomb, but everything else just can't compete with Chicago and Cali. You know, I had to see the famous Levain Bakery in their cookies. 100% lives up to the hype. They are $5 each, though, but they're big, so maybe just get one and keep on chilling. 
day nine of eating everything in NYC. I accidentally walked into this cute Japanese cafe while we were just looking for coffee, and I gotta say, this was kawaii. After that, I got what was probably my favorite bagel in New York. A French toast bagel, as well as a classic lox. Then went to Wafunk for duck and pork over rice for like $7. I feel like this is the best deal in town, ask for extra sauce if you go. Now someone from New York tell me what the hell I was watching. This was some funny, sweaty version of Wallball. After getting hyped from that, had Jian's famous foods. The lamb dumplings, lamb pulp noodles, and a cumin lamb burger too. You know I had to. Everything I ate in New York, day 10. We're coming to the end, guys. Stopped off at Unregular Pizza for breakfast and got their famous burrata pepperoni slice with the hot honey. Killer combo, of course, tons of cheese, and the crust was amazing at this place. Went to 886 after for some sake bombs with lychee beer. Surprisingly epic chili fried tofu, Taiwanese sausage, awesome popcorn chicken. Overall, cool ass restaurant and awesome food. And we did manage to get to Lucali's even two hours before they open. The line is pretty nice. It was incredibly dark, so I couldn't really get any footage, but it lives up to the hype. Everything I ate in New York day 11. This is the final episode, y'all. Super sad about this. Bing bong. Had breakfast at Whole Foods. Fresh soy milk, two ways. Some perfect chili wontons. The sauce was incredible. Then we had some rolled up scallion pancake with egg inside. Delicious turnip cake and a rice roll with a fried cooler and pork floss inside. And then the final meal was this yakitori tasting menu. 16 courses of being absolutely schooled and humbled by Japanese grilled chicken. This was the equivalent of like a two Michelin star dinner. Very expensive, but ended up being one of the best meals of my life. And you just never know when you're gonna have a meal like that. This is a super fun series to make. Awesome that you guys seem to enjoy it so much. Don't worry, my definitive pizza tier video is coming out soon.